you know, Halloween is for spooky things. That was how he died. So that was like very, very spooky. Why am I having goosebumps, you guys? <laughs> hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here please hit the subscribe button and post notification bell beside it if you end up loving this video so today i'll be doing a story time about a weird kind of spooky kind of absurd stuff that happened on halloween's night last year this is halloween period actually today is actually the main halloween but we don't celebrate it in nigeria although it's like coming to nigeria slowly like in 10 years time i believe our kids will be like tricking and treating but that's not the point now but before i get into this story time a lot has happened since my last video the exam vlog so let's just like quickly talk about them a little so i finished my exams if you see my community posts then you would know by now that i finished my exams and i'm a true delivery now oh my god <laughs> okay like it took so long but thankfully thank god i'm a true delivery now <laughs> another thing is that they gave me a community tab like i thought it was like if you've if you only reach like 500 subscribers but i think youtube is changing because a lot of people are getting community tabs right now but still i'm so happy and another thing is um yes 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 we finally reached 400 subscribers oh my god oh my god <laughs> okay guys we are growing we are growing chicken java where we stay from anyways cheers to 400 subscribers yay <laughs> So let us get back to the story at hand. You know, Halloween is for spooky things. And even though in Nigeria, it's not exactly a thing. You know, we don't, like, most, most spooky things happen on days that are not even Halloween. So I just borrowing some people's culture. And I doubt it should be spooky, right? But then this fateful night, you know, the Halloween ish they're getting more popular in Nigeria from 2020, 2021, it got more popular. 2022, I'm even hearing that they're doing like some sort of Halloween party somewhere in Abuja. Hmm, whatever. Anyways, since it's there getting like popular now, it was already in my mind like, okay, today's Halloween, blah blah blah. I was not scared, mind you. I think it was a, it was a Friday or a Sunday night. Yes, it was a Sunday night because today is Monday. So last year Halloween was a Sunday night and that was first semester 200 level and that was when I used to volunteer with my friends at A&E. That Sunday night we were supposed to go to A&E of course for night shift and my friends went before me because I can't remember why but I had to come alone and I came a little bit late. It was almost dark. So when I got there there was a commotion in front of A&E and there's usually a commotion when a patient dies or when they are bringing in a patient especially like a patient with rta or a patient that is seriously injured from something you know, it's really a commotion because like everybody's trying to like keep that patient alive and doctors are trying to know if the patient is alive before they can like admit them so it's not be like we admitted a dead patient and then be like oh you killed this patient you know long story long story <laughs> anyways so I came and there was a commotion, of course, I couldn't like enter the commotion. I had to go inside first to, to change and then wear my scrub and get ready for the night's work. And when I got inside, I saw my friends, I was like, okay, what's going on outside? What happened? And yeah, people were crying. When I got closer, I saw people were crying. So I already figured out that somebody died. So I asked them who was the person admitted. Not, they were like, no, they just brought the guy and he was, he was already dead by the time they got here. I was like, oh, that's, you know, that's sad. After they finished telling me everything that happened, let me say, like, about 30 minutes later, a car drove into A&E with speed. So, everybody ran out because, of course, a, for a car to come in with speed, like, there's definitely an emergency. So, we the student nurses and nurses, we came out to see what was going on. There was a guy in the car, like, he was at the back seat. The patient was a guy. So, we hurriedly called the doctor to come and check this patient and the doctor checked the patient and said the patient was dead so now here is where it got spooky 
here is where it got weird and here is where it got absurd i didn't see the guy that the first guy that died so everybody that was there that saw the first guy that came dead they were like this guy looks exactly like the other guy and when the doctor came down he was like I i've checked this patient already why is he still here you guys are supposed to take him to the mortuary <laughs> And they're like, no, this is a different person. So after the guy had confirmed that he was dead, everybody was like, this guy looks exactly like the other guy. Like, even the way he, he was staying, like, on the back seat, the way he was, like, slanting and everything, looked exactly like this. The way his beards were, the same thing. He was wearing the same shorts this guy was wearing, and he was shirtless like the other guy. Like, it was so crazy. Now, that's not just where the craziness ends, okay? Me, I not see the other guy, you. I was just hearing from everybody. Why am I having goosebumps, you guys? <laughs> and it was already in my mind that it's Halloween, no? So, as we were saying it, I was like, hmm, Halloween night, squad. Why is this kind of thing? Like, it not happened any other night. It just came Halloween. I mean, it might not mean anything, no, but... <laughs> okay. Let's move on to the spooky actions. So the doctor went on to ask questions like, why is he dead? You get, what was wrong with him? Why did you guys rush him to the hospital? And the doctor, you know, when they are checking if the patient is dead, they open the eye, show that little light and stuff like that. And from the eye, you know, you can see if the person has blood and stuff. And the eye was so pale. The doctor looked at his hand and there was literally no blood in this guy. So he died of hypovolemic shock. He didn't have blood. That was how he died. So the doctor wanted to know what happened, why they brought him at such a critical time, why they didn't bring him earlier. So they were like giving the gist of everything about the guy. Now, let's talk about the, the fact that he died of no blood. I now got gist from others that the other guy also died of no blood, like the same thing. Like he literally died of no blood too. And I was like, hmm, like everything was just rhyming, every single freaking thing. This guy was freaking the same age with the other guy. Like, they were literally the same age. They looked alike. Their beards were alike. They wore the same shorts. They were, like, lying the same way. They came in dead. Turned out that these guys were also only sons. <laughs> I was like, ah, what is this stuff? Like, what's going on? Like, why is everything rhyming so much? So, as the doctor was, like, trying to get what happened to the guy, turned out that this guy had been sick since... Now, this is where the stupidity of those people come in. Like, so this is what happened. This guy had been sick ever since, and they did not take this boy to the hospital. Guess where they took him? You know, now, Nigeria. They took him to church because God saves. Of course, God saves. If your child is sick, if you have a sick relative, freaking take them to the hospital. The church cannot do anything because most times they need medical help. It's not every sickness. I know there are some sicknesses that hospital can't help and it's only God. But before before you take them to that church, like can you like can you take them to the hospital first? Like can you do that first? But no, it's Nigeria that we live in now. They took him to the church. Now, this guy in the church told them to pay 50k so that he can pray for him and heal him and blah blah blah. And they paid this 50k. This guy now awful dying in the church and it's only to the person that brought him and she was like i came here earlier today i came to Olo earlier today because they said he was sick and they've not taken him to the hospital so she actually came to take him from the church because she was like pissed like why this is an only son why are you playing with his life like this he has not even married he has not given birth to any child now this family's generation will literally end here if this boy dies so that was why she came and then she saw the pastor and everything and the guy was like i can do it i can do it blah 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 god will do it i can pray for him this pastor now saw this guy was dying that's when he not told him. literally i would say he died in the pastor's hands but then the pastor was like oh if we should take him to the hospital now when my guy has already finished dying so they like brought him to the hospital and all this happened now why i started telling the story is because these people are so ignorant and that's the same exact thing that killed the other guy ignorance like everything was so spooky like <laughs> hey god i don't even know how i don't even know if i'm like <laughs> relaying this spooky message well but the way everything was the way everything happened the nature of their deaths were the same the their looks were the same, they were dressed the same way, they were 
found in the same position in the car lying down on a fat woman both of them so that was like very very spooky especially for those that saw it me i did not even see the first guy but the thing they spooked me out so the other guy that died the first guy that died his relatives were still around so they kept hearing stuff like the other guy that the new patient that is dead now looks like your brother will. so then i came to check and he they were like jesus that he looks exactly the same that is this not their brother uh-uh. like it was so crazy so freaking crazy and many thoughts have been coming to my head since then i mean first of all it's weird that it happened during halloween right and halloween night of all times but others other weird, other weird thoughts have been coming to my head like what if these guys are actually twins what if the hospital that they were giving birth to they kind of like swapped them not like swapped like okay let's say this woman went to the hospital and then she gave birth to twins twin boys right and then after giving birth to the twin boys maybe there was a weird ass nurse there that took one baby and sold to another family i mean it happens it's it happens it happens it really happens and i'm like then if that was actually the case and they're actually like twins <laughs> they freaking have to die the same day the same time and the same way i mean the chances are like very little but still reason it reason it now <laughs> i don't know i'm just saying it's just something that i've been thinking about since because this thing has just been in my mind a lot of weird things happened in the hospital guy and this is just one of them i mean that day was so spooky sean at the end it was kind of funny not that they died i wasn't you know when people die it's a very sad something but it was funny when my two male friends <laughs> who also go for this night shifts with us they saw everything that happened and they were so shook i mean we were all shook because what kind of coincidence is that so they were so shook and both of them are the only son and they said they're like oh my god i need to call my mom and <laughs> they had to like walk out and speak to their mom for like a very long time like they had long conversations with their respective moms and i was like <laughs> that was very good for me i was like so now they feel like this eh had my hand my hand my no fear <laughs> Hey God, that was that was that was the only part that was funny in the stuff. Every other thing was like so weird, and to think that this is just one of the weird things that you can see in the hospital. Like weirder things happen. I mean, I've not seen, I've not really seen anything weirder than this. But this is like the weirdest. I've used this word weird so much in this video, but because it's a weird video, you know. So. This is this was the weirdest thing that has ever happened that I've ever seen in the hospital, and yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll see where that is as time goes on. But it is what it is. That's just what happened that night, and it has just been putting so many thoughts in my head. And that thing is this it doesn't concern the spookiness of the stuff that happened that day. But if you're watching this video and you're somebody that go, runs to church first when you're sick or takes people to church first when they are sick instead of going to the hospital seeking professional help from a doctor or from a nurse you should really stop ignorance is like one thing that kills so many people in nigeria like let's just say 99 percent i know i give random numbers always but i just love giving numbers it's not like the accurate but in my head the accurate though this my head just gave me the accurate for me oh, this is accurate so 99 percent of people that die in nigeria it's out of ignorance the other one percent is just happenstance you hear me it just it just happened but if you check all the deaths in nigeria ignorance this person died of diabetes they ignored all the signs you have high blood pressure the doctor will tell you this is what you should do this is what you shouldn't do you should have a bp apparatus if you have high blood pressure but you know people don't listen another thing is they will say they don't have the money but one thing is if you prioritize something if it is your priority you would have the money the money will eventually have to come out though like if that's just how life is if you prioritize something especially if it's something that um, needs money you will definitely have the money for it if it's something that needs time you will definitely have the time for it it's just for you to prioritize it that's just it finish shaking now 
okay so stop being ignorant as a nigerian like can we like stop this ignorant trend like most of us go to school most of us are literate okay so if something is happening to you go to the hospital it's not everything that you have to take malaria medicine for it's not everything that you have to go to the church for if a pastor loves you if a pastor wants you to be alive if you come to the church they will send you to the hospital straight and if they are praying for you people come to the hospital people come to the hospital to pray you can always come to the hospital to pray for the person if you really need to be close to the person to pray for them you can be one million miles away and still pray for somebody you can be in the space and i'll be on it and you still pray for me and to work i mean god listens to all of us we don't have to be in the same place for your prayer to work for me and then collecting money to pray for me <laughs> collecting money to pray for somebody like are you freaking foolish like i mean i thought we are all over that i thought we we have sense more than that right now mm? you okay you're going to finally you don't want to really go to the hospital and you you're ending up to, like in the church right and then the pastor is asking you to bring money that's the first sign of a quack because nobody no freaking person with a good heart and level head will ask you to get money for prayers anybody that's asking you to get money for prayers is a quack and you don't know what they are doing because why would you ask for money for prayers did god ask money to heal all those people he healed even the person he raised from the dead did he freaking ask for money no he did not so i thought we are living like we are living by jesus's standards mm? so why ask for money and why pay the money oh god and that 50k if you check now if you come to the hospital assuming he came to the hospital earlier i'm pretty sure that guy wouldn't have used up to that 50k reason this thing if you come to hospital early when you get the first signs of that sickness you would not use much money you will not use much money that's just that's just if you come early you will not use much money now they've given the 50k and he still died and i'm pretty sure they will not even carry that guy to the police i'm pretty sure they will not even arrest him so what's the use the the young boy agala he's just gone <sighs> Um, what is they happen no, but it is what it is let's just be shining our eyes let's be vigilant about our health let's stop allowing people to do while you're on top of our head i beg please your life is more important um, well, that's just it though that's just what happened that day for me it was very spooky it was very weird and then it was night and we had to stay awake in the night taking care of other patients with everything Mama, it was just it was really weird it was a really weird experience with that i have come to the end of my afternoon information <laughs> okay no mind that's the end of my story time slash advice to nigerians on their health if you did enjoy this video please hit the like button the subscribe button if you're new here and the post notification bell so that i can get notified first time whenever i post any video or whenever i post anything on my community page so that you guys will be like keeping up if you want to see more of me you can check my instagram at veg b i would link it down in the description box and i'll put it somewhere on the screen so you guys can like check me out and follow me if you like if you deem it necessary okay yeah see you guys in my next video bye